hours ago, Germany restricted the use of the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine. And yesterday, Canada also suspended the use of that vaccine in adults under 55. Both countries join others around the world in pushing pause on AstraZeneca's vaccine. But the head of the study of that vaccine at the IU School of Medicine and to participants tell WRTV's Nikki Dementri they don't want others to be discouraged. I got my second shot uh, December the 7th. That's Joe Morris. Keep breathing. And this is Mia McClendon. I just want us to go back to normal. The soon to be 80 year old retiree living in Bloomington and 44 year old IT professional from Carmel are two of 530 participants in IU School of Medicine's AstraZeneca vaccine trial. It's a double blind trial where two thirds got the vaccine and the other third a saline shot. So it's all one consent. Morris and McClendon already received both shots. Unique to this study is the opportunity for participants to know if they received the vaccine or placebo once their age group became eligible to get vaccinated in the state of Indiana. I was quite fortunate. I got to, I was one of the two thirds that got the good vaccine. I have an appointment scheduled for myself and my husband on um, April 17th. And as far as I know, two days prior to that, I will be unblinded. Both say they did not experience any side effects and are proud to be a part of the study. I just felt like I needed to do something and this was the way to do it. But I don't regret anything. Last week, the company released its findings in the 88 U.S. trials, but the vaccine is still not authorized for use in the country yet. Dr. Cynthia Brown heads IU's trial. It takes a lot to bring a, a size of this trial through the finish line at Indiana University. Several countries around the world continue to halt the use of the AstraZeneca vaccine over concerns of serious side effects like blood clotting. As you go from tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands or even millions of people receiving the vaccine, it is possible a rare but serious side effect could could show up. Dr. Brown says while there are valid safety concerns, those side effects have not been seen in the Indiana or U.S. trials so far. It's important also that we let the scientific community try to determine uh, what this might be uh, before we say, okay, this is not something that should be used worldwide. All three agree if the AstraZeneca vaccine does become authorized, do not pass it up. I think if you do not have a history of a clotting disorder in the past, I would not have a hesitancy to take it myself. If it's available, I would recommend it. I'm 100% with me on that. It's another option uh, and we need as many options to get as many people vaccinated as we can. Working for you, Nikki Dementri, WRTV. Well, back in November, WRTV spoke with Dr. Cynthia Brown and participants about this same trial. Then Dr. Brown spoke about trying to recruit a diverse group of participants. Today, she says she feels that was mostly successful. The percentage of both the Latinx and 65 and older age groups were higher in the trials than the percentage of population they make up in Marion County and in Indiana. However, the black and brown communities, she says, was under recruited. 5% of the 530 participants were black or African American. Dr. Brown says that her team could have been more upfront to connect with community leaders and committees to help with enrollment. She adds there was a disconnect with this community between the first point of contact and follow up. You know, we've had multiple meetings about this because I think it's really important as the flagship university in medical school here in this state that as a research community, we understand um, the potential barriers to enrollment as well as um, how to make those connections. Dr. Brown says personally, she's learned through recruitment in this study to not rely on past practices to get the word out about what they are trying to accomplish.